Hi, I'm Dr. Hamer, a clinical psychologist who'd like to talk to you about biofeedback and how it can be used to treat headache disorders. My colleagues and I are working very hard to get information to patients about headache treatments that many may not know about. We hope that this video will help you understand how biofeedback therapy may relieve your headache symptoms and improve your overall quality of life. Before we get into the specifics, let's take a look at how the information is organized in this video. First, we'll learn about the headache disorders for which biofeedback is most helpful. Then, I'll describe biofeedback and explore how it works. Finally, we'll take a look at what biofeedback therapy will require from you as a patient. Headaches cause significant disability, and the symptoms are often difficult for people to deal with. Many patients report headache-related disability and suffering that don't allow them to live their lives in ways that they would like. There are many types of headaches, but biofeedback therapy is most effective for two types of headache disorders, and those are migraine and tension-type headache. These two headache conditions cause different symptoms that should be discussed with your provider. For instance, migraine occurs with pain that's typically moderate to severe in intensity, and has a pulsating or throbbing pain quality. Migraines also usually worsen by routine physical activity and occurs with nausea and or vomiting or with a sensitivity to both light and sound. Generally though, the symptoms of tension type headache are less severe compared to those of migraine regarding pain intensity, the type of pain, and co-occurring symptoms. Tension type headache and migraine are ranked as the second and third most common medical conditions worldwide, and the World Health Organization ranks these two headache disorders among the top 10 causes of disability. Ultimately, many patients report headaches as having a negative impact on their moods, such that headache patients experience greater symptoms of depression and anxiety than people who don't experience headache conditions. Biofeedback therapy is a useful symptom management tool that's used across many health professions with no long-term negative side effects. In fact, it's helpful for managing symptoms of many psychological and physical health conditions. So, what is biofeedback therapy? Biofeedback therapy takes advantage of the mind-body connection. The mind and body are much more interconnected than initially thought. Using biofeedback strategies helps to enhance your psychological awareness of what's going on inside your body, and this improves your ability to manage your headache symptoms. We can use biofeedback to assess and change various responses in your body to minimize the impact that headaches have on your daily life. We're able to do this because biofeedback itself is the detection of information through sensors that are placed on your body. This information comes in the form of small electrical current and other physiologic activity. For instance, when your muscles contract, they produce small electrical signals. The biofeedback sensors detect these signals and feed them into an electrical device, such as a computer. The computer then amplifies these signals and feeds them back to you in the form of visual and auditory output, such as moving images and simple tones and beats. This allows you to become aware of the physiologic processes that occur in your body so that you can learn strategies for modifying them. How does biofeedback work exactly? One of the first methods of biofeedback is breath retraining. This form of biofeedback uses strain gauges to determine breathing patterns. These gauges are stretchable devices that are wrapped around the abdomen or chest to determine if breathing patterns are too shallow, too slow, too fast, or just irregular in some other way. The major function of breathing is gas exchange, and many patients engage in rapid and shallow chest breathing, or what we call hyperventilation. This way of breathing doesn't allow as much oxygen into the bloodstream and ultimately may lead to bodily pains. That is, you experience pain because not enough oxygen is being released to your muscles. The goal of breath retraining is to help you engage in deep diaphragmatic breathing at a consistent pace and reduce the impact of irregular breathing on your headaches and your body. As a patient in biofeedback therapy, at this point, your responsibility will be to practice diaphragmatic breathing at a pace determined by your provider and based on assessment data. 
generally, it's good to achieve a 10 second breath cycle to prepare yourself for the next phase of therapy. The next type of biofeedback is heart rate variability training. This form of biofeedback is commonly done by using a sensor to indirectly measure your heartbeat using infrared light. Heart rate variability is a subtle variation in the time interval between heartbeats. Our heartbeats are always changing and heart rate variability reflects the rhythmic speeding up and slowing down of your heart rate. Your heart rate variability is an indication of the body's ability to regulate internal processes. Hyperventilation and dysfunctional breathing patterns decrease your heart rate variability and this can make your headache symptoms worse. The goal of heart rate variability training is to synchronize your breathing pattern with your heart rate through effortless diaphragmatic breathing. If you look at the graphic on the right side of this screen, you can see that one way you'll be able to do this is by using visual feedback of mechanical or electronic tracers. For instance, using a breath tracer and a tracer that tracks your heart rate variability will allow you to align changes in your breath cycle with changes in your heart rate. As you inhale, the light green line will go up and as you exhale, this green curved line will go back down. We expect to see a similar pattern in your heart rate variability as the two become synchronized such that as you inhale, your heart rate variability, shown here by the red line, will increase and as you exhale, your heart rate variability will decrease or go back down. Surface electromyography or SEMG is another form of biofeedback in which your muscle activity is measured and reduced. Surface electrodes detect weakened electrical signals from your muscle fibers and this form of biofeedback along with breath retraining really helps to take the strain off your upper body that may be contributing to your headaches. Common areas with excessive muscle activation that often contribute to headache include your forehead and temporal regions of the head, your scalp, your shoulders, trapezius muscles, your neck, and your jaws. SEMG training will continue to build off the breath retraining and heart rate variability training in that you'll be able to make specific postural adjustments to figure out which areas of your shoulders, neck, and head carry unnecessary tension that may be contributing to your headaches. At this stage, you'll see spikes in your SEMG readings as you increase muscle activation. As you decrease your muscle activation, your SEMG readings will go back down. Your provider will use the scientific evidence to help determine appropriate thresholds for deactivating your muscle activity. The next form of biofeedback is thermal biofeedback. This type of training is used to raise the temperature of the skin by helping you relax the blood vessels of the peripheral nervous system or in your hands and feet, put simply. Your body's peripheral skin temperature is usually an indication of your relaxation response. When the blood vessels relax and more warm blood flows to the surface of the skin, your peripheral skin temperature increases. There's been a linkage between disrupted blood flow and headache activity. At this point in therapy, your responsibility will be to learn to consistently practice relaxing the peripheral blood vessels and warm the surface of your skin to stabilize blood flow. You'll work with your provider to determine which skin warming strategies work best for you. Examples of these strategies range from purely visual feedback to guided imagery to encourage skin warming and enhance your body's relaxation response. For both tension type headache and migraine, biofeedback is being linked to reduced overall days per month that patients experience headache. Additionally, headache severity is reduced with regular use of biofeedback practices to reduce overall tension and stress. Biofeedback indirectly targets distressing internal thoughts and feelings by inducing a sense of calm and well-being. If, after you've successfully mastered these modalities of biofeedback, you still experience difficulties with your headaches, neurofeedback may be considered. So, what are some next steps then? You should speak with your primary care provider about a referral to determine if this may be a good option for you. You should also discuss your individual risks and benefits with a provider who's trained in biofeedback. Please 
understand that biofeedback isn't a one-size-fits-all, and it may work better in combination with other treatments. In summary, muscle activation and tension make headaches worse. This muscle activation and tension may be the result of co-occurring mental health or physical health conditions. Biofeedback uses mechanical sensors to help you change your body's physiology and symptoms. This headache treatment indirectly targets internal thoughts and feelings by reducing arousal and promoting a sense of calm and well-being. And finally, you should speak with your provider about next steps regarding biofeedback.